This is Adam for Sonarworks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sonarworks Devices and Presets menus. You can create presets for each pair of headphones or monitors you'd like to use with your system. The Sonarworks system-wide app lets you monitor any audio program on your computer and allows you to switch to any of your monitor systems, all with the confidence of Sonarworks Room Correction. Since this is our first time using Sonarworks, let's make a few basic settings. In our audio output, let's set our output to Sonarworks system-wide and turn our volume all the way up. From the top menu bar on my Mac, I'm going to open the Reference System-wide app. On the left side of the window, you'll see Devices and Presets. In the Devices menu, you'll see all your available audio outputs. Here's our built-in headphone output. We see our Pro Tools Aggregate I.O. if you're a Pro Tools user. And you can also see I have an Antelope Eclipse connected to my system. If you'd like help during setup, you can click on the menu bar and select the setup guide. The Sonarworks software can walk you through a step-by-step -step setup for your system. I'm going to show you how to set it up manually, but if you need assistance, click on the setup guide. In the presets menu, click on add preset at the bottom. First, let's set up a preset for my Bayer 770 headphones. Under Calibration Profile, we'll see a list of recent calibration profiles that I've set up. To load a profile for headphones I haven't used before, click on Add Headphones. Here we see a list of the hundreds of headphones that Sonarworks has created profiles for. Choose your headphones to load their profile. Since I've previously selected profiles, I can simply select the profile for the headphones I want to use. Now under Output Device, let's select the built-in headphone output. To make sure our selection is correct, click on Test Output and you'll hear a test signal. Left. Right. Now we can name our preset something easy to remember. I'll name this preset DT770. The preset we've just created contains our headphone profile plus the playback device we've selected. Now let's create a second preset with the same headphones but a different output device. Just click on the menu and assign to another output. Now let's create a preset for my studio monitors. Once again, click on Add Preset. In this case, I've already created a profile for my studio monitors using the Reference 4 measurement software. Under Calibration Profile, I can just select my Tannoy speaker profile. For the output device, I'm again going to select my Antelope Eclipse monitor controller. We can again test our left and right outputs, and then I'll change the preset name to Tannoy and Add Preset. So now we see the three presets we've created. We have our headphones through our built-in headphone output, our headphones through our monitor controller, and our main monitors through our monitor controller. Now it's easy to select different monitors and different playback devices, and each device has the correct EQ curve applied. First, let's try playing some audio from Logic. In the Logic Preferences, I have my audio output set to Sonarworks system-wide. This way, Logic will play through the Sonarworks app on its way out of my computer. If your DAW is set to play audio directly through an interface, you may want to use a Sonarworks reference plugin rather than the system-wide software app. In this case, since I've got Logic set to play through my Sonarworks system-wide app, any audio program that I play from my computer will play through Sonarworks system-wide, and they'll all be corrected the same way. For each preset you select, Sonarwork assigns the correct output, the correct EQ curve, and even all the custom settings, including the wet-dry mix, the filter modes, the output controls, and even which EQ curve is displayed in the frequency graph. Now let's say I want to listen to iTunes. iTunes will also play through the system-wide software to my headphones. If I want to listen through my studio monitors, I can select my monitor preset here, and Sonarworks will automatically apply the correct EQ profile to my studio monitors. So as you can see, the Sonarworks system-wide software allows you to quickly switch between playback devices while retaining the correct EQ profile for each device. This way, Sonarworks works kind of like a monitor controller built into your laptop. The monitor controller and device presets are right here on screen for you which is an excellent way to work when you're mixing or mastering. Sonarworks offers a convenient way to switch between different monitor systems and also between different audio playback programs. 
This makes it simple to compare songs from, say, iTunes with your DAW. You may notice when using Reference System Wide that our latency is never truly zero. That's because our computer has an internal buffer. In this case, our internal buffer is 61 milliseconds, and we really can't adjust it. In another video, I'll demonstrate using SonarWorks Reference as a plugin in your DAW to get true zero latency. Be sure to check out SonarWorks' other tutorials and instructional videos.